Good morning, Mission Baptist Youth. Merry Christmas to you and your family before we kick off and get started today. But I wanted to bring you a short devotion real quick to try and keep your focus on track and also to keep your mission on track of what God is asking you to do. So I want to look at two people today uh, just to give you this short message. And we're going to be looking at the shepherds and we're going to look at the wise men, okay? So we're going to look at those two guys and think about what God is asking us to do as Christians. Uh, it says in Luke 2, 8 through 18, that night there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah. The Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby snugly in, snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others. The armies of heaven praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased when the angels had or when the angels had returned to heaven the shepherds said to each other let's go to Bethlehem Did you notice that let's go let's go to Bethlehem let's see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about they hurried to the village and they found Mary and Joseph and there was the baby lying in the manger after seeing him the shepherds told who everyone they told everyone what had happened and what the angel uh, had said to them about this child and who heard the shepherd's story were astonished so we're gonna you got those guys locked in okay we're gonna jump down look at these wise men real quick matthew 2 1 through 2 it kicks off says jesus was born in bethlehem in judea during the reign of king herod about that time some wise men from eastern lands arrived in jerusalem asking where's this newborn king of the jews we saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. Got that? Jump all the way down, Matthew 2, 10 through 11. It says, when they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their eyes, or opened their, their treasure chest, they probably opened their eyes, their treasure chest, and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So I want you to take it some time to look at these two different lifestyles of people. You got shepherds, these guys, uh, they're, they're a little strange, and they, they're out with the sheep, and, and it's not really the job I want. Uh, and then you got these uber smart guys who astrology, science, whatever, uh, they, they all want to find Christ. They all hear some kind of cool story or see some kind of cool object, and they've got to know more. They've got to find out who he is. So when you look at these guys, why do you think God charged these guys to spread the word about Jesus? You got it? They're goers. They're goers. Shepherds take flocks from here to there. Anywhere there's grass, they're moving all the time, going to market. And so they are constantly on the move. Wise men study stars. It's evident they, they travel. They're going and looking for different things in astrology, science. They're exploring new lands, doing whatever it is to make themselves smarter. So they're on the move all the time. So who does that tell us that God picks? He picks goers. He picks people that are on the move to spread his word. That's what God is looking for. God is looking for movers. So on this Christmas day, are you sitting in a house right now with someone who's lost and doesn't know Christ? Is there somebody in your friends list, on your, on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Snapchat that doesn't know Christ? Today is the day God is commissioning you. He has given you a story. He has told you in his word about the birth of Christ. You have salvation in your heart because of Christ. You have a commission to go. God wants to go with the goers. So I encourage you on this Christmas day, if you're sitting in that house and you have a lost family member, friend, sitting there chowing down on something in front of you, today is the day where God has called you to be a goer. You're not watching this message by accident. You are commissioned to be a goer, to go find the lost friend or family member today and tell them the story of Jesus. Take Santa Claus, kick him out of the room. Bring Christ in, give it to your family member, give it to your friend text it to him if you have to. God has commissioned us all to be a goer. He wants you to be a shepherd. He wants you to be a wise man. He wants you to take care of a flock, but uber smart at the same time. So Merry Christmas, Mission Baptist Youth. Go.